Heidi ho YouTubers, it's January the 26th and here's the Podunk News. Last week I only read one article for you. This week I've got so many I'm only going to read the headlines. I'm doing that because I want you to understand the situation with the problem that's going to come up in these headlines. How big it is. How big it is. And uh, down in the comments afterwards, maybe we can uh, come up with some ideas about what to do about it. What it means, what the ramifications are, what's it all about, and how that affects our preparations. I'll post all the links, you know, over there. So you can read the uh, full articles if you want to, if they'll all fit. If they don't all fit, I'll, uh, I'll put them in uh, the front page of my website. I have a website. I put that thing up, oh, months and months ago. And it was really kind of a flop. Uh, it was supposed to be a site f where we could share tips, tricks, and views on prepping. While you're there, take a look and see if you think it's worthwhile. More people are prepping now, so maybe I'll uh, start maintaining it again. Enough said about that. Links over there, too. Let me uh, get this page up and we'll start reading some of these. This one's out of California. California downgraded by Standard & Poor's. Their credit rating slipping. New York. Governor Patterson proposes record $134 billion state budget with major education and health care cuts. IRS to expand audits as cash runs low. I don't know why they can't just print more up. <coughs> this one's out of Florida. Unemployment tax rate jumps up. California again. California may delay March bill payments on cash dip. So more vouchers on the way. Saturday parking fee in D.C. to start mid-January. So if you got to park downtown D.C. on Saturday, you're going to have to pay. States braced to tighten 2010 belts amid $14.8 in shortfalls. Vancouver plans to cut 65 to 75 jobs. Albuquerque, New Mexico. City faces 10.5 million budget shortfall. More uh, layoff notices for Fresno Sheriff's Office. That's California again. Portsmouth, Maine. City job cuts coming. Littleton schools weigh 100 layoffs to offset 9 million shortfall. Littleton's in Colorado. I know because I went to, to uh, kindergarten in that school district. It was a long time ago. 100 Portland teachers staff could get pink slips. Overland Park, Kansas is this next one. Layoffs within weeks. Here's a uh, article out of Nebraska. State will cut about 250 positions. Broward County, Florida. School district officials say 475 jobs on the line. Illinois enters a state of insolvency. New York again. Governor Patterson. Budget has 1 billion in new taxes. Under plan, New York City aid would be slashed by $800 million. Well, the New York City Mayor Bloomberg replied with a grim doomsday budget. He cuts 23,000 jobs. Mississippi Governor eyes using rainy day fund. South Dakota Unemployment bill, unemployment fund, huh, still deteriorating. 
Rhode Island, Unemployment Trust Fund in Dire Straits. Georgia, Amid budget woes, tax refunds could be delayed again. So if you live in Georgia, you're not getting your tax refund for a while. Economy causes record demand for Idaho public aid. Businesses in Kansas face 209 million tax increase. Here's the last one, Austin, Texas, city forecasting a $30 million shortfall. I collected all of these uh, over just about a two-week period. They've been going on for a while longer than that. I've been reading them, and I'm sure they're going to ramp up a lot more in the future. So again, down in the comments, let me know what you think how that affects our preparations, our futures, and what we can do about it. We'll get through this.